I feel like I'm doing a makeup tutorial. But instead of like highlighter, it's our higher power. So most YouTubers who do meet and greets get like a hug, uh, a bracelet maybe, a handwritten note or letter. Not you guys though. No, I get Bibles. What does this mean? Well, uh, well, uh, 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 come correct. I didn't ask for this. I know the Lord did not call for this. I don't know why all things good and holy is my brand, but I'm blessed. These aren't even all the Bibles that I've got from you guys. These are just the best. You know, if it's good enough for 12 disciples, it's good enough for me. So today I'm gonna go through all the Bibles that you guys have gifted me. Thank you. Now I can't throw these away. You know that, right? I'm not gonna throw away a Bible. No, that's a trap. What do I look like, Donald Trump? Keep me Jesus. There's always the biggest divide when I do Jesus type videos like this. There's other people that just like hate it or people that think it's really funny. Nine tenths out of ten, the people that think it's really funny are LGBTQ plus youth who've been really hurt by religious people telling them that they're gonna be in like an eternal fire. <laughs> That's never stopped me from making these videos. <laughs> I am one of those kids who grew up queer and was told by religious people that like terrible stuff is gonna happen to me because of it. And what do you do sometimes when something's really hurtful? You make jokes about it because it makes it easier. If anything, I think these videos help a lot of young kids who are like in the middle of nowhere and that are told by people that love them. Really hateful and dark and really scary things. Uh, at the end of the day, I don't care if you're religious. Like, I really do not care what you do. I'm a very spiritual person, so clearly I have my own ideas of faith that I keep close to me. As I think we all do in different ways. The only thing I don't like is when people put down other people because of it. It must be very lighthearted making fun of things that are very scary and are very real because kids are told every single day that when they die they will go to hell for loving who they love and for being who they are which I don't think is right <laughs> so that's all I'm gonna say about that Did I say that well I don't know first Bible stories I feel like I'm doing a makeup tutorial but instead of like highlighter it's our higher power published in 1999 wow 90s kids <laughs> only 90s kids remember obeying the Lord only 90s kids remember the word of God in the beginning long ago there wasn't a moon or a sun or any stars in the sky no birds no animals no people there was no world there was nothing everything was dark and quiet what what is going on Noah and the ark okay so I know Noah's ark there's like two of every animal a guy and a girl because you know straight I'm not, do you see what I'm seeing here I'm looking at the back like these horned bisons and or bison Buffalo, they both have horns. Hey Siri, do animals that have horns, do the girls have it also, or is it just the guys? I gotta know for gay science. I found this on the web. Oh my god, the girls don't have horns. It's these gay bison <laughs> just sneaking on the ark. That's the reason why we have gay people today, children. Because of these two sinners. See, Noah didn't pay attention in biology. <laughs> Next, God's Little Princess Devotional Bible. This is some shit you guys would give me. <laughs> um, I have no idea who gave these to me, by the way. No one wrote their ads in the Bibles because... Obviously, but next time you see me out and about if you want to just like give me <laughs> just shout you out dear princess Shit, okay royal truths if you had a chance to meet the president of the United States, what would you say? Would you be silly? Would you show him respect chances are you would be thrilled <laughs> Chances are this book was written before 2016. Uh, it's similar to what God had Elijah, his prophet, do. Oh my god, Elijah Daniel. Lil Fag is actually Lil Prophet. <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> my daddy's bigger. <laughs> this is looking a little gay. Next. Okay, I don't know how much I can show of this. So someone gave me their yearbook to their Catholic school. Mind you, they also stole various reading materials from said Catholic school. Um, and gave it to me. <laughs> the center. We got a workbook. Prayers. For teens. And uh, we've got their yearbook. And it says, this is the weirdest one, I admit. But this is one of my Catholic school yearbooks. However, I want you to experience how weird Catholic school was. Looking back, it was just really creepy. Also, this book is mostly Comic Sans. I also starred things and added comments. Work. You're definitely not doing the Lord's work, but some work nonetheless. I can't show you this though, because there's pictures of people. Oh, I'm gonna go through as much as I can. There's a faculty and staff page. With an arrow, it's one of the grade six teachers, and it just says, she disappeared. What? What? Living out our Christian faith. Okay, there's another one. It says, what if? What if Jonathan had a mute button? <laughs> Drag him! What if Stephanie knew what the Great Depression was? Next. This one has to be the hands down the best because it's not just one, but two. Little girl's Bible and little boy's Bible. Learn how to become the woman God wants them to be. Learn how to become the men that God wants them to be. Shit. Non-binary people, you got double the reading. Or none of it. it depends. Wait, this one's for mothers and sons, and this one's for mothers and daughters. Teach children that Jesus is daddy from an early age. So that is all I had to pray to your faces today. I love you so much. Bye.
Files. Haskin Matters, and that's what matters. Miles. Haskin Matters, and that's what matters. Miles. The word of God.